What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Picky, picky. Hey. So yeah, I'm, my makeup is halfway done. Okay, but today we are going to try another product, and I'm gonna hop right in. But if you want to see the look. I mean, if you want to get the um, video on the look with these eyes, I tried a new product, the P. Louise Rumor is what it's called, girl. P. Louise Base, eyeshadow base, bomb.com, game changer. Check out the video and I tell you why it's a game changer. I don't like to just tell y'all, oh my God, this is great. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have to go get it. Becky, go get, like, I don't like to do that. I like to tell you why I like it, right? And it comes in packaging like this. I got it from Morphe. Watch the video so that you can see all about that thing, all about that pace. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Watch the video so you can see all about that base, about that base. <laughs> so I also got a new product. This is um, a setting powder, loose setting powder from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Honey. I'll probably be using her too. I have my thoughts on her. I'm thinking about doing a video comparing her to my Holy Grail um under eye setting powders that I kind of like bake a little bit with I'm thinking about doing that if you guys want to see a video on that let me know I'm also going to be using a new product that I got it is this microfiber uh beauty sponge from Morphe this joker gets huge do you hear me let me hurry up and use it for it dries out because I've wet it a while ago so anyway this is the box that it comes in I took a trip to the Morphe store this is my first time going to the Morphe store we have here in LA at the Delama Mall and so I was like oh skin tint I want to try it out but I'm gonna tell you this right now and don't judge me and well you can if you want to but I won't receive it <laughs> I am going to use a corrector. How many, y'all don't know how many times I had to do that. But I am going to use a corrector because I have a live presentation I have to do after this. And so I need to put my best foot forward and make sure that I'm flawless, period, okay? So I'm just gonna do like I would usually do. I know you're like, but if you're using a skin tint, then why are you using a corrector? Uh, because I want to. Like, you know, cause like, I want the skin tint because I just want to test it out. Not that I'm a huge skin tint fan, but I just want to test it out because that's what I do. I want to tell you guys what I think about it. I heard that it's really not that much of a skin tint, that it's a little bit thicker than um, the Fenty Ease Drop, which I have, and I have a video on it. And I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm gonna, like, I'm not gonna put a lot, but I do have some blemishes and I do have hyperpigmentation. I am using the Fenty Beauty, um, I forgot, it's like a long name. It's eye brightening, illuminating, all of that good stuff. The, the concealer, okay, that's what I'm using. And I'm using the shade Toffee. And I'm just blending with my finger. So, it says it seals in moisture and nourishes dry skin. Non-comedogenic and vegan, okay, it's vegan. It says shake gently, start with one to two drops and build to your desired level of color coverage apply using a synthetic brush sponge or your fingers well we already know we're not doing fingers because I don't like rubbing my foundation and I just it, it, I don't know I can't do it now I use it to apply but to rub it in we're not doing that we're not doing that now I'm gonna I'm tell you the truth when I did the next foundation and y'all can check it out but when I did the next one it did say like a couple of drops too and um yeah I did like 10 so we're just gonna do we just did like almost maybe two big old drops but that <laughs> that might be enough and it's very liquid duh right we knew it was liquid because it's a moisturizer well no I take that back because I think NARS is not liquid like this it's a little more creamy so I take that back no duh no duh Re um, I retract the duh I retract the duh and I pray that this is the right color because that's what it looked like even though it's liquid it's kind of thick it's it's kind of creamy to be honest I should have rubbed it on my hand but I put too much to do that and now hopefully this is not like too red I almost disturbed the brow girl look how close I got all right let's try the sponge too I heard it's really good for carving but dang I let it sit for a minute so it's not as damp as I wanted it to be it's a microfiber sponge this joker got so big but i think what attracted me to it while i was at the morphe store was the fact that um it's nude so hashtag winning i just thought that that was really cool i'm feeling like it's a little patchy but it could be i don't know i'll try it with my other sponge and let y'all know or it could be because i let it dry let's see how much this is i hope i didn't get my phone dirty it's 18 dollars, and so far i think i'm gonna do one more drop but i don't know if i'm gonna make it a full drop but let's see i don't know 
I guess it's so liquid that they can't really put it in a tube, but I don't know. I guess, I guess the dropper's okay. I will say, I, if y'all want me to do a comparison to the um, Ease Drop Skin Tint by Fenty, I can, because I do have it and I did a separate video on it. And I am curious to see, like I'm, I'm curious to see how they come out in a battle, right? Cause I'm feeling like this is a little thicker. I'm feeling like it's giving me more coverage. Like I'm feeling like this is not a moisturizer. Like I'm feeling like it's a foundation. And the next color that I was gonna get had more red in it, but I would love to have tried that too, but I just wasn't about needing two separate ones cause I thought that this, when we swatched it, it looked the best. It was like the best match to the foundation that I had. It's like, I don't know, it has like this milky, like this, it's like this creamy kind of coverage. I like it. And I guess you could even build it up more, but I'm gonna stop right here. I'm just gonna go on with the Juvia's Place concealer. And you know, Morphe used to have some concealers. I don't remember what happened and they were pretty cool too, but that was like years ago. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this Too Faced, this Butterscotch, this Too Faced Butterscotch that's pretty bright. This is what I use when I wanna really like bang and highlight and I'm gonna put a little bit of it in here. But just blow it a little bit or, you know, fan yourself, let it get a little tacky. I find that when I let the concealer get a little bit tacky, it blends out better and it stays in place a little bit better. Ugh, I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I, I'm feeling like now I'm starting to see that this color is um is kind of blending with my highlighter kinda. So I feel like I could have gone a little darker. I'm still gonna take my Fenty and I'm just gonna set it. I love the smell of this Fenty powder though. But hopefully we'll see how it looks when I do my, um, my um, setting powder too. When I put my actual powder foundation to set it. That's how I set all of my complexion items. Whether it's a skin tint or whether it is a, a full-on foundation, I always set it with the powder, y'all. Always. If you guys have dry skin, I would say don't set it. You could leave it as is. But for me, my skin is combination oily. And so it's almost mandatory that I set. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a little powder right around here because I get oily right there too. And then now I'm gonna go into this Fenty powder. The 400 will give me a little bit of warmth. I think I'm gonna go 400 on it. 400 on them because it kind of made me look a little light. See how that kind of brought some color back? And I don't usually use this one on a daily, the 400, because it has like some too much warmth in it for me, but it's working with this one. I got this Juvia's Place contour palette this is the dark one and that's what it looks like i'm gonna go into this lighter shade right here as you can see this one has like a lot of red in it like some people probably could use that as like a blush like real talk this is my first time using this this is like this is a bunch of first today Ooh, that has red too i usually do not wear this much makeup on no saturday that is very pigmented come on juvius come on come on with it although i should have got the um the medium one as well. So I'm just gonna like make that a little more natural looking. I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera. I'm gonna add my um blush, highlighter, lippy, all that good stuff. And then I'll come back with the final look. And then that will be it, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think about this foundation. And then too, sometimes I have to kind of do like this. If it's not like my exact match like I would want it to be, I kind of blend it out like that. And so, you know, I'm red because I did that, but it'll calm down. And so I'll be right back, okay? And I'll show you the final look. And you guys let me know what it looks like, like how you feel about this skin tint based off this video. And if you tried it, let me know in the comments as well. But I'll be right back. Booyaka, 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 hey. So that is the final look, you guys. I did pop on some lip gloss. I popped on a lip liner, um, the MAC Chestnut, and then I use Seeky Cosmetics, my line, whoop, whoop. Um, this is just being me. And you guys let me know what you guys think of this, um, this skin tint. And let me see, the eyes is cute. If y'all wanna see that, all you gotta do is go watch the other video. Oh, I see, oh, I feel like I need to fix it, but I'm not, we're gonna leave it as is. But um, what I do wanna say is one thing I noticed about the skin tint is this is probably one of those um, moisturizers, well, it's a moisturizer as well, but it's probably one of those tinted moisturizers that are made 
to just, you know, put on even your skin tone out, walk out the door, right? Especially if you have like normal to dry skin, you really don't need to set it. However, like layering product on and granted it is a skin tint. Okay. But I'm giving you all the tea because I have like rocked the, um, Rihanna one as well. And I had other tinted moisturizers and I was able to layer it whether it be powder, contour, highlighter, whatever, right? But you still have the feel of, or the vibe of the whole light coverage. This one, I felt like it was a little bit harder to layer. Like you guys saw me put the powder on and you saw me do the contour. I feel like once you put it on there, it's a little bit harder to blend. So when I was putting on my blush, I was like, okay, blend girl, blend, blend girl, blend, right? And then when I put on my highlighter, usually it's just like glides on and I could just kind of smooth it out, smooth it out now. No, but I could like, smooth it out I had to work a little bit harder and I just had to like I felt like I was blending a little bit longer so just know that if you're planning to use this and layer on top of it it does require like a little bit of work and I don't know if that's because it like set I'm not really sure what that is but um anyway I just that's just a little bit more of the tea you know from the what I noticed by using this tinted moisturizer and I've used various tinted moisturizers okay so I'm just letting you know that that's one thing that I noticed off the bat I had to get back on I wasn't planning to do this but I wanted to come back and let y'all know. Um, I'm wearing the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint. Mm -mm, it makes me look too oily and I've only had it on for a couple of hours and it kind of, when I um, dab it, is making it like a little sticky. Like it has a sticky tacky vibe to it, um, which is probably why I couldn't really blend out the highlighter. So I just wanted to come in and give y'all an update. Like I'm feeling, yeah, no. If you have oily skin and whatnot or combination, Girl, I don't know. This was only a couple of hours and I'm kind of not, mm, 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 mm. I'll stick with their foundation though. Um, one they did with makeup Shayla cause nah, it's a no for me. So that is it for this video. This is what it looks like. Let me know if you guys have used this tinted moisturizer. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys feel like it's a great match? I kind of feel like I want to try the deeper shade to see. But let me know your thoughts on it if you tried it, all right? If not, let me know what you think about this video. Let's get it going on in the comment section. Like, I definitely come and I chit-chat with y'all for a bit, all right? But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, if you have not joined the Fan Bam, go ahead and join the Fan Bam so you get notifications when I upload a video because sometimes YouTube is not loyal, okay? I'm just saying. And I would love to have you up over here. Um, Tell your mama, tell your friends, tell anyone whose heart can comprehend. Send it in the let a baby tell it on the phone. No. Anyway, just share the video, okay? Like the video and join the fam bam. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. And just in case I don't see you sooner, I'm going to see you anyway. All right? Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. See, keep beauty makeover.